Hey everyone, this is Rob Ryder. It's Friday, uh, August 3rd, 2010. Summer about over. I get asked about this quite often because I talk about it and then people say, what's that form you talked about from the IRS or whatever? So I decided I'm finally do a video on it and quit talking about it. Uh, so if you just Google Yahoo, whatever you want, IRS 6209-2010, you'll find a hit that comes right off of the IRS government website. IRS processing and codes information. So please don't email me and ask me to send you this, right? Please just Google IRS 6209-2010. Now this book comes out every year, um, but this is the one I, that I know and I can find the stuff in, so this one I'm going to use. And uh, this is what the cover looks like. Wow, it's a 613 page book. Uh, no, we're not going to go through it. Uh, I'm going to show you the only part that matters. If you go to page 28 of this particular PDF, you come to the Tax Returns and Forms section. And it's a list of returns and forms. Following list of tax returns and forms showing file source, tax class, master file, tax account codes. Lots of great stuff. So, as you can see, down this uh, left-hand column is all different kinds of IRS forms and then their title and then the file source if you care tax class MFT dot code you know, what I care about is this tax class because this determines what class a tax the form applies to so for instance a W-2 wage and tax statement is a class 5 gift and estate form it's used for class five. It's not a. It's not income. Income is one and two. Five is uh, either gift or estate. I can't remember. And six is the other one. So, either way, they have quite a uh, exemption on them. I believe now it's uh, uh, a straight five million dollars per year. Now, that's what Gene Keating told me. I would take Gene's word for it. But I know it's a lot more than I've ever made per year. It doesn't matter what it is, right? So what I'm saying is, if you get a W two. It's class 5 gift in a state. Why are you putting it down as income? Better yet, why are you allowing your accountant to put it down as income? I think that's breach of contract. You hired him because he's an expert. So, since it's either a mistake or he committed a crime and it's a felony, fraud, either of those, there is no statute of limitations. Mistake goes back to the first instance, so does fraud. So as you can see, W-2s of all different types, I'm just going to scan down. All the W-2s are Class 5 gift and state. Eh, W-3 isn't, but I never used one. Oh, there's the W-4s. Well, my God, they're all Class 5. Now when I say gift or estate, please don't hang me on that. It's either gift or estate. I don't know. But it's a Class 5. It's not income. You don't put it on a 1040 on the income line. They actually have a form for gift and estate, but I believe you could probably use a 1040 form if you put it on the right line. I don't know. I don't pay the taxes, so I don't care. But for those that do, uh, well, here you go. Uh, what do we got here? Generation skipping transfer tax return for terminations distribution. So it looks like a 706 form. So 706, and which one is it? United States estate tax return that's used for five and six so if you have a bunch of five and sixes which is what you're going to have you would use a, a 706 form and then some of them are used for all the different tax classes but you know what about what about what about what about how about 1099s a lot of these mean nothing to me because I never had them so that's why you'd have to download it you would compare the uh, the forms that were used on your taxes to see what tax code they, they apply to. And then fill the damn form out according to the instructions. 1040s, yeah. 1045 or 1042s of class 5, yeah, you know. There we go. 1098. So we start at uh, 1096 through 1098 through 1099s through 1099s. All 1099s so far have been class 5. 
and we're out of 1099s. So again, I don't know what most of these other forms are. I've never never used them, but I think everybody knows what a 1099 is. You know, that that's a standard uh, instrument that shows what uh, uh, value has exchanged hands one way or the other, and you know, for those that work for somebody else, I'm sure you get uh, W-2s, and you know, all the W-2s are class 5, a W-3 isn't, but again, a, a W-4 is, right? So all the things that you would use to do your taxes are pretty much class 5 gift or estate. And again, if you've used a, uh, I'm going to leave it right here so you can just burn this into your head. If you ever used an accountant to do your taxes and he didn't put it down as a class 5 gift or estate, then he made a mistake. And I'm going to go back to him and say, hey, brother, you made a mistake. Here's the evidence. Show him this book. Just show him these pages. Just download the pages you need out of here. And say, I want you to amend all the forms for free. I've already paid you to do this. Or I'm going to file a criminal complaint for you committing fraud. Right, breach of contract. I hired you because you're an expert, and you put it down as income. When everything is class five, you should get everything back that they took from you. And you can go back to the first day you worked. You know, now some of you may want to just go to the IRS and do this. I don't know, right? But if you don't want to, and you and you've had a local tax guy do your stuff, then go back to him and find out what's going on. Make him do it. You already paid him for it. Right? You paid him for his best work, and he gave you shit, and so he owes you uh, an apology, and he has to fix his mistake. And that's to move the stuff from one line on a 1040 to a different line on a 1040 or to a different form completely. But let him do it. And you'll get a refund for everything that you've paid in. You should get all its gain back, too, because any unjust gain, uh, unjust enrichment comes back when the mistake is found. So, you know... Point out the mistake, folks, and get your money back. So again, you're, you can find that by going here to IRS 6209-2010. It's the one I like because it's the one that I found. I, I think they changed places in 2011. I, I think that's what I found out, that they moved this, right? But as you can see, you can still pull the manual off. Um, and uh, it starts on page 28 of this 2010 version. And uh, it's your evidence to use to ask, well, why are you charging me for taxes? It's a gift. Well, the reason is, if you don't claim it, somebody else is going to try to. So you better claim your, you better claim your gift before someone else does. Okay, that's really all I had. Good and short. The way I like it. See ya.